Kidney disease is growing at an alarming rate. In fact, according to the U.S. Department of Health, more than 750,000 people here in the U.S. have kidney failure. Many patients are told they will need dialysis to survive. But a new UCSF study is showing that not everyone needs the same treatment. And for some, dialysis doesn't need to be a life sentence. For Liddy Lawson, moments like these spent in the kitchen feel like a gift. It's just kind of a, my love language. It's also what helped her get through the most challenging time in her life. It all started October of 2020 when Liddy started feeling sick. My white blood cell count was through the roof and they suspected leukemia. She immediately started chemotherapy, and for a moment, it looked like she was out of the woods. During my consolidation chemotherapy, my kidney functions dropped, uh, my lungs filled with fluid, and my heart stopped twice. Liddy spent 51 days in the ICU. Because of COVID protocol at the time, Liddy's mom, Debbie, could only talk to her over FaceTime. When she woke up, she was on 24-hour dialysis. I had no idea why because um, I knew I came in for for cancer. I didn't realize I was in kidney failure as well. The treatments made her miserable. It was definitely times where I was like, this, this is it. I think I'm dying. This is not, you know, it's just not working. Her weight plummeted to just 87 pounds. She was placed on a feeding tube and there was no end in sight. I didn't feel like I could have much of a future. Um, with going in to have sessions three times a week for three and a half hours a session. She started baking to help distract her from the pain. And so I decided to start making them all cookies. So I would take cookies to my crew and um, just to try to cheer them up. Then a ray of hope. Dr. Chi Shu is the chief of the Division of Nephrology at UCSF. He, along with Dr. Ian McCoy, were conducting a study on how patients with acute kidney disease requiring dialysis are currently being managed at outpatient dialysis clinics. Patients like Liddy, who were young and didn't have any comorbidities. I think to understand that acute kidney injury patients are different from patients with chronic kidney disease, which right now in real life, it appears in real life practice, people are treated very similarly. Most of the research in acute kidney injury has been on when patients should start dialysis or how much dialysis they need in the hospital. And there's been relatively little research on how to take people off dialysis when they start to recover and how to recognize recovery. Joining Dr. Shu's study wasn't an easy decision. That was the only way I had known was you have to be on dialysis. And here this man's coming and saying, maybe you don't. It's now been seven months since Liddy's last treatment. She's in regular contact with Dr. Shu and has to go in less frequently for blood work. A sign in her home reminds her of just how far she's come. It's nice to be able to see this huge number and then the no dialysis for 213 days, which is incredible. Liddy's now training to walk a marathon with her mom and entering in local baking competitions. But maybe the sweetest part is feeling like she finally has a future. Well, doctors at UCSF stress that this course of treatment is not for everyone. This study was specifically done on patients who had acute kidney injury caused by a traumatic medical event. In Liddy's case, it was cancer. They stress talking to your doctor before changing any treatment. <laughs>